Hello friends, this video demonstrates separation of beta carotenes from spinach leaves using simple column chromatography. So first what we need to do, we have to take the fresh spinach leaves, we have to cut them into small pieces and then we can squeeze them. Once you are ensure that water is removed properly, then we have to treturate the spinach leaves using mortar and pestle. Now we can add little amount of acetone in the triturate and then we can transfer to the separating funnel. Now we can filter out using the simple filter paper and we can get the extract. Now we can pack the column using silica gel. So we are inserting the cotton plug so that it can hold the stationary phase in the column. This column packing is by wet column packing method and what we are going to do that is the gradient illusion where we will pack the column in an hexane and then gradually we will increase the polarity using um, acetone. Now here the silica which we are using that is of size 100 to 200 mesh size and this is a special silica which is manufactured for column chromatography. So in another video we have discussed how the column packing is done using wet packing method. The link for the same video is given in the i button and also in the description box. So we have to make the silica slurry in N hexane.
Now once we pack the column, next is we have to load the sample. Now here our sample is the extract of spinach leaves. So during the extraction, there is a possibility that it might have some moisture. So to remove that moisture, what we are doing, we are adding magnesium sulphate which is anhydrous. So what it will form, it will absorb the moisture and it will form the lumps and then those we can filter out. So what we will get is the pure extract and that we can load in the column. So we can filter out and then you can see what we got that is the extract which is free from moisture. Now what we need to do, we need to adsorb this extract on the silica so we added little amount of silica into that so sometimes some people prefer to directly use the liquid sample and uh, sample is loaded using the uh, liquid form but it is always better to adsorb that on the silica so that when you add the uh, sample or the when you load the column with the sample it will not uh, disturb the packing so this is how we can add saw now this add saw sample we are going to upload in the pack to column and because we have had sob you can see it is going smoothly and not uh, disturbing the column packing now very gently we have to add the solvent that is n hexane here so that the sample will settle down properly and then again we can add the silica slurry so that when we add the solvent system or the mobile phase it will not disturb the sample packing Now you can see clearly as we have loaded the sample and it is getting eluted. We are able to see the two bands. One is of green color and other one which is eluting faster that is the yellow color. So we know that the beta carotene which is present in the spinach leaves is uh, yellowish in color. So that is what it is getting separated out. And the green color is the chlorophyll pigment that is chlorophyll A and B which is present in the spinach leaves. So as we continue the elution with the mobile phase, uh, we can make out the yellow fraction that is the beta carotene is moving faster. So what we can do, we can uh, go with the gradient elution uh, to save our time and then as we know we are eluting with the N hexane only. Now we can add little amount of acetone. So I added 10 ml of acetone in 90 ml of N hexane. So we are increasing the polarity and then it will move faster. So once you collect the beta carotene in the test tube, then again you can increase the polarity so that the chlorophyll pigments uh, can elute out from the column. So this is how you can separate the beta carotene and uh, chlorophyll pigments. Uh, using simple column chromatography